So I go to the thrift shop a lot. Vintage shopping is my number one thing. And I've done it a lot over the years. So I figured, why not record this trip? I'm going to show you what I got. was a great trip. What I found, you're going to see a huge haul of, which I think is the best part anyway, because no one cares about looking at you picking things. They just want to see what you got and how much you paid for it. Meanwhile, everything at these stores, like each ticket color is like a different price off. So it's 25, 50 or 75 off. And then other colors are at full price. Now, time to go home, wash everything, and you'll see it from there. Because you gotta clean everything a few times before it's good to put on. Also, a lot of things that then I try on and that I end up don't liking can be found on my Poshmark closet. You can find it below in the description. And then you can buy some of the pieces that I no longer just don't want or don't like. I also sell some good things that I no longer want that are not from, from the thrift store, from, that are really good pieces. So take a look. This black and red stripe sweater it has this like unique suede leather then like threaded through it was just like such a cool vintage find i just love the different stripes the tag said from italy so i was sold the red detail is by far my favorite this sweater like just caught my eye. The buttons, the stripes went all around. I just thought it looked like so cool and different. It wasn't like any other cardigan sweater that I've seen and you could wear it all buttoned up or you could wear it open or, or open up a few buttons. It was just so different and cool looking to me. This one reminds me of that Knives Out sweater that Chris Evan was wearing. Just that like classic great cable type looking sweater. Of course, this is not a cable knit it's a different type of pattern which I liked even better because it was all different and unique and something I haven't seen and of course it was 100% cotton so it was in my cart immediately I hate things that are itchy and this one you could lift up make shorter there was something about this sweater I just couldn't put down I love like a good nautical stripe and then with a little nautical anchor on it I was sold the edges are even a little like frayed and like ripped up which I loved and and I loved how there was like a collar already like in the crew neck. It's by far my favorite. This sweater actually I cut and made a raw edge because the sleeves were a raw edge. It had this pocket on the bottom I wasn't so thrilled about it. and I really need like some cute crop cotton sweaters and I loved how the neck just like was a simple roll like the wrists and now that since I cut it the bottom's like a simple little roll and I've worn this so many times already. It's just that classic white perfect soft sweater with jeans, black pants, anything. Dress it up, dress it down. I loved how the white and black and you could tuck it in, lift it up, whatever you wanted to do. It had this like scallop type edge that made it so like sexy but casual at the same time. I love the black and white. It's just like such a great contrast and the lace scalloped edging was just beautiful. This sweater was actually by Adrian Vitan I believe that's how you say it. I love this for like the summer and warmer months or even like underneath a blazer. It's just like that simple v-neck sweater. I love the camel brown this season. This is one of the other sweaters that I actually cut. It was longer about to your hips and I just need like a great ribbed classic white 
sweater turtleneck perfect so comfortable it's so cozy it's not too tight so it gives that like bulkier feel but it's also like a slim look this one had such a cool look and pattern to it i thought it was like masonious with this like blue black and navy print this would be so cool underneath a leather jacket or underneath a blazer this was a great find this leather jacket i actually altered this a little there was some belt loops on it i'll show you over here and i removed the belt loop because the belt was missing when i got it now it's just like this like leather jacket blazer i saw something like this online and i actually like the one i found so much better i think it's just like so much more worn in and cooler looking slouchy but cool to throw over like a sweatshirt or even like a nice shirt going out anything this is one of my pieces that reminds me so much of a zimmerman look it was a two-piece set here i tied the shirt i could think about what to do with it like either cropping it or just tying it it's a button-down shirt I could push up the sleeves anything I want and of course the skirt is long but I'm actually going to be cropping it we got another one similar to this another trip and I'm holding these two on the side to get it altered this velvet skirt is so gorgeous I actually altered this and hemmed it shorter it was longer like to the knee with slit in the back and I simply shortened it to the length I wanted. It's high waist, beautiful with a zipper and a button in the back and the velvet is just so gorgeous. Can't wait to wear this. Perfect. Such a classic. These are actually like vintage Gap jeans, but with this like amazing, amazing beaded rose detail like down the leg and around the leg and they're like 100% cotton jeans. Now I always have to look at the belt and see what there is, but this brown leather simple like utility belt thought was so cool, perfect for like jeans, anything, dark brown leather, silver. This one I'll show you, I actually took off the belt loop that said guest because I didn't want any names written anywhere. I love studs. I mean, I just love it. Such a cool look with like high pants, a dress, anything, a skirt, jeans. This one was a great find as well. It's a red like snake skin leather, silver hardware and detailing. Gorgeous, perfect vintage look. Have to look at the bags, of course, because I love a great vintage bag. This one was all leather with different skins on it. Black, so cool, like an envelope clutch, but it also has this long leather strap button and some little pockets on the inside. And look, simple to pull the strap right back in and hide it in the bag. Of course, another vintage bag, red, gets my eye caught at any moment. This one has a clip long strap I won't be using. I'll just take it off because I like it more of a clutch, this bag. It has the cute little zipper so nothing will fall out. I loved the red snake skin. Of, I love 80s, 90s looks of bags. Like Always have to look for a good soft vintage sweatshirt. This one, of course, caught my eye. Love a great army green. Another vintage hoodie. Can't get away from them. This this one is more of a summer sweatshirt it was lighter but i loved again the black and white and this would be like so cute with jean shorts even like this all black look underneath and of course there's pockets and it's just like a great sweatshirt to throw on there were a lot of top sound in this thrift tall but i have to say i did find some treasures some leather pieces some pieces i altered to my liking and some pieces i will alter later on in the season can't wait to see what i'll find on my next thrift trip and what treasures I'll find in someone else's trash.